Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are on the iMac taking a look at Mac OS 11, or at least a kind of preview or a beta, whatever you want to call it, a mock up of Mac OS 11 and what it could be, and some new features that we might be seeing in the new Mac OS. So let's just jump right in. Um, first thing is first, we'll see here on the on the top page or on the first page of this kind of layout is uh, the desktop OS from a whole new perspective. So the immediate impression that I get is that this this creator basically wants to see more of an iOS look to uh, Mac OS. So obviously we have the control center up here. We have iMessages, uh, all the all the uh, Finder windows. You know, kind of look very um, iOSy, and obviously we have apps that were clearly running on iOS, and now they are on the Mac. So we have a lot of things going on in this first screen here. Hopefully it's not too much to digest, but let's move on. We'll see a lot of these features later on. So let's move on to the next feature or the first set of features down below. So first thing is first, we see a new designed status bar and I'm actually really enjoying this. I think it looks a lot cleaner. If you look up at the top of my screen here, everything is very cluttered. Um, it's not it's not smooth at all. It's just very cluttered and I really like the look of this kind of new status bar here. Going with this kind of opaque um, status bar for the Finder or any application that you will be using looks very nice and then Siri having that bubble is really nice as well. But I think what really makes it for me is on the right hand side here where it just looks really clean and really fresh. I think that all of these icons up here on the top right hand corner of my my screen should be placed somewhere else so that you get a more clean look on the desktop. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're digging this or not. I personally am and I really think that Apple should take a look at this because that looks really nice. So let's move on to some more features and looks like we have Control Center, Universal Apps, Proactive Siri, Notification Center, Dark Mode on Mac OS and then we have device syncing. So these are all really good features. Let's head down and check out exactly what this creator is talking about when, when he's referencing these things. But first, I really wanna point out this uh, kind of like photo style app. It's obviously taken directly from iOS because this looks almost identical to the iOS camera app. So we have effects on the right here. We have um, some more effects here and then obviously the video photo and then portrait mode. So obviously this creator thinks that we are going to see a very new camera in the MacBook, iMacs, anything like that and see an option for portrait mode for the front camera. I think that this is a really good idea. I think that having sort of like an iOS theme or just a universal theme for both macOS and iOS is a really good idea simply because it takes all the guesswork out of everything and it makes users more comfortable switching between the two devices. So let's move on down here and let's check out a another feature. This is the control center and it's gotten a complete redesign. In fact, we don't even really have a control center other than the icons that we have up here at the top. So it looks very much like iOS 11 right now in that we have these sliders, the buttons are the same, and then we obviously have screen recording, which which would be awesome on the Mac if that was to be done natively. Uh, timers, calculator, and then battery status, which would of course be useful for the MacBook and MacBook Pro lineup. So um, we also have the device management here, which we'll go down and talk talk about in just a second. But this looks very fresh, very clean, and obviously it does have the same style iOS um, kind of bar here. So maybe we'll see that in Mac OS where you can either pull that down, swipe down on it or something like that and see a new redesigned control center. I think this would look really good on a MacBook or MacBook Pro. So the next thing that we're going to be taking a look at is universal apps. And personally, I think that we are a few ways away from universal apps. That being that you can switch from Mac OS to iOS pretty seamlessly and all iOS apps will basically work on Mac OS. Obviously we see here that we have the news app from, from iOS and then we have, I think that's PayPal in the background there. And then we have Airbnb and we can run some things for our Apple Watch. So these all look really good. I'm not seeing an entire like movement towards this, this kind of feature set where we have 
iOS apps running on macOS just quite yet. I don't think we're there just yet, but I think that within like two years, we will be seeing universal apps. Hats off to this creator for thinking of it because I think it's a really good idea. So let's go down and kind of move down to um, see some more features. And we're looking at a more proactive Siri. Always on, always helpful. So what does that mean? Well, in my in my like wish for Apple and you know my wish for them to implement this, it's really like an always listening Siri specifically for the Mac. Having, you know, this ability to reply uh, to messages, download, file to documents, open in Photoshop, like the ability to kind of control your Mac without having to go and click everywhere would be really awesome. So having the ability to translate and just kind of say things to the Mac to Siri would be very cool. Um, right now, Siri is very limited on the Mac. You can do several things, but it can't really do any system um, system management items. So I think that implementing that feature into Siri would be really helpful. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want Siri to be smarter overall on Mac OS. So let's move down to the notification center. And if you take a look at this not notification center, it looks very similar to what we have now. The big difference is that basically, between the apps that you're using, like Messages and Facebook, everything is grouped together. So it looks a little bit more clean and a little bit more fresh. I'm really liking this look and I hope that Apple at least can implement this into Mac OS 11. So before we get sidetracked with anything else, let's go and take a look at dark mode because obviously that is what a major part of iOS and macOS users want to see. We've already gotten kind of like this dark themed. Um, you can see on my dock here and then in the status bar, we have that dark theme, but it's not fully dark in, in the sense that it kind of crosses over to the um, Finder app and then Safari and all those apps that come with your Mac. So this looks really fresh. Honestly, it looks probably like the the thing I would want exactly on Mac OS. Finder looks extremely clean, extremely easy to use, and just very well laid out. I'm really hoping that Apple takes a look at this and implements this into Mac OS 11 because this whole sidebar looks really clean. Everything just looks like a whole new Mac OS. I think, I think that Mac OS has really deserved kind of an overhaul, and this is what I would want to see in that overhaul. So let's go down and take a look at the dock. It's kind of similar to what we have now in a sense. So not really too many changes there, but as you can see, there are still a few icon changes here that maybe we'll be seeing in the future. All of this looks really good. So let's go down and this is a really important feature that I think Apple should take a look at and it's called device syncing. And basically this would sync all of your devices and you can basically manage all your devices from a dedicated app. I think that using iTunes to kind of update your iPhone or any other um, devices is kind of pointless simply because we have so many products coming out now. We have HomePods, uh, AirPods, Apple TVs, we have um, Bluetooth speakers and everything like that that can receive updates such as the Beats lineup. We have a lot of accessories that you can update through your iPhone. So having an app like this would be absolutely perfect. You can kind of manage everything. I think that iTunes should be really just a music specific app and then have a more dedicated app for device management. So maybe we should see this coming in, in the new Mac OS simply because we have the introduction of the HomePod and we need to manage the HomePod better through a dedicated app, hopefully through Mac OS. So let me know in the comment section down below if this would be a good feature. I really think that it would be. Let me know what your thoughts are. So let's go down and this is sort of wrapping up the, the look of Mac OS 11 or the concept here. And this looks really nice. I'm really enjoying this. And the first thing I thought of when I saw this screen was, could Apple release a MacBook Pro or an iMac with an OLED display and kind of make it 5K, but have an always on display? Let me know in the comment section down below if an always on display, at least on the iMac, 
would be a good idea. I'm really enjoying this kind of lock screen here, um, just the music on the side where you can access your music without having to actually log in, and then the time, date, battery status, all that. And then we have a very important feature here on the left-hand corner, Siri. Now, obviously, I think that the next MacBooks and iMacs should definitely come with Face ID. I think that feature really needs to come to the Mac. So hopefully we can kind of, you see this unlock feature taken straight from iOS. Hopefully we can have Siri integration, camera integration, and all that be accessed through Face ID, but not exactly unlocking your Mac right away. I think that maybe it should be a two-step process. but. Less on that, let's focus on the design here. It just looks really fresh. Obviously, we're not going too far out of the realm here. We do have these this kind of look already. Uh, the concept designer just wanted a little bit more with the lock screen that we have now. So guys, that's about it. We have um, some new face ID. Obviously, he already thought of that. Siri integration, which is should be a lot better. Widgets, kind of like a redesign and dynamic wallpapers. Dynamic wallpapers would look really cool on an iMac. I really think that Apple should kind of bring those to the iMac, MacBook Pros and all that. So just go throughout this website. I'll have a link in the description below. Honestly, all of this is really good. The work and the time that uh, these designers put into these mockups is immense. So go check it out. Link in the description below. Also comment down below exactly what features you liked in this video and I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching this sort of concept video of a possible macOS 11. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.